Good morning, Artesia Radio Show. Valerie joins us from the Artesia Public Library. Good morning to you. Good morning, everyone. Yeah, we had a little rain over, well, this morning, I guess. <laughs> it's a chilly 69 out there, I think. <laughs> <laughs> nice to say. Yeah, officially just over three-tenths of an inch. So I know monsoon season started, apparently, according to the news. Yes. <laughs> so we got rain right away. So, I, yay. <laughs> I guess. I hope I hope we get more. That's uh, crazy that we've had just over half an inch this year. So Yeah, yeah. It's uh, kind of... Kind of crazy, but yeah, let's get some more. Uh, let's get some more rain. That that'll be very helpful for a lot of folks. So, how's the old summer reading reading program going? Lots of folks coming in and taking oh, part. Oh my gosh, we we had such a great week. Um, I mean, we've had hundreds of kids through the library this week, so it's just been wonderful. And um, we had Rocky Mountain puppets here yesterday, and the kids were just so entertained. It, it was a great time. Good, good. And that's not the only special event this month, so... Um, yes, we have a couple of, actually, two more children's entertainers coming up um, next Thursday and the following Thursday. So there is a lot more fun to be had. Lots of giggles and laughs and smiles and uh, uh, a lot of fun for the kids to have and the parents. Good, good. Hopefully uh, the kids and the parents look around and go, there are books in here. Yes. Um, actually, you, you know, when these uh, kids come to these events, we get slammed with all the books that they return. So, <laughs> so it's, a, it's actually a great thing. It's a really great thing. And then they take some more, and it's uh, going like it's supposed to this summer. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Well, you've got a couple of events today uh, for folks to take part in. Um, we do. From 10 to 2, it is a drop-in Lego lab, and um, we will have some little Lego challenges for you to try. Um, I think this week is make a boat or a ship or a yacht. Of course, it's just an example. We want you to be as creative as you can be. So, like I said, that will be a a drop-in program. You can come anytime between 10 and 2. So what, what does this say about an individual? I There's a YouTuber that uh, he did a YouTube video of himself in the parking lot in Philadelphia across the street from the USS America and he built a Lego model of the USS America sitting in the parking lot across the street from the USS America. So who's... I know, yeah, I know there's some serious Lego building people out there. There's actually a TV show on just this um, past spring. I don't know if you saw it on primetime, but there's serious Lego builders out there. <laughs> yeah. So who's the stranger of the two? The person sitting at a table in the Ikea parking lot across the street from the USS America building a Lego model of the USS America? Or, or the, us watching or the, the poor sap sitting there <laughs> watching this on the, on the computer. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah. So, and then he did another one. There was a, a what did he build? It was a, it was a steamship that was originally supposed to sail from uh, New York and Boston area up to a port in Massachusetts, and they never did make it that far. You know, they canceled how they, they, they canceled that they were going to go to that port, even though the city had built the dock and had invested a bunch of money to welcome the boat. The boat never went there, so he made a Lego model of that boat at the dock that it was supposed to go to. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and again, who's who's the odd one? The one doing that or the one watching it? <laughs> and you know about these because you watch them? <laughs> I know. I know. Well, I'm I'm intrigued by the history. I get a kick out of the history and I, and, and it first popped up in my feed cuz I guess I'd been watching some stuff on the Titanic. 
And so all of a sudden his feed pops up because he's done some different things talking about the Titanic. And so once you get to the guy's channel, you start looking at some of the other videos that he has on there and you go, wow. So anyway, um, I need to I need to read books is what I need to do and, and uh, do that. Now you have uh, Teen Craft Days continue today, right? Yes, they are designing a sea creature today. I'm not sure exactly what the materials are, but um, should be fun. They've had some great programs so far. Um, the teens have uh, screen printed some bags. They've made some string art, and I know I told you the wrong thing last week. I thought they were painting with string, but it's actually the um, like the thumbtacks and string. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay. So there, yeah, there's uh, different types of string art, believe it or not. <laughs> oh, I'm sure there is. I'm I'm sure there's all different kinds, and I bet there's a YouTube channel. <laughs> I'll bet there is. Um, uh, the adults yesterday, they did some dot painting. Um, so there were these tools that you use, and you dip them in paint, and you just make dots hmm. on your canvas, and. Um, to me, when I took art art classes, that was called stippling, but now dot art is a thing. <laughs> it's probably because nobody knew what stippling was. Yes, yeah. So they made some really cute sea turtles yesterday um, for the, the adult craft. But, um, yeah, those are the two things that we have going on today. So the Lego Labs at, from 10 to 2, and the teen craft is from 3 to 5. Okay. Well, let's let's look ahead to next week. Um, you've got yes. more movies and fun like that. So we kind of start all over again with uh, programming for all ages, and uh, of course, all new things and all fun things. On Monday, um, Mondays are movie day, so at one p.m. we're going to have IMAX Under the Sea, which is one of those wonderful actual under the sea films um i've seen them before i don't know if you have the imax films but mm -hmm. they're it makes you feel like you're under the sea <laughs> yeah don't need 3d glasses for this one right no i don't no i don't think so um and then we have our noon book di discussion so you still have some time to pick up the book if you want to do that i believe it's 100 years of Solitude is the book. It's a classic. Um, Tuesday is our story time and craft. The theme is Silly Creatures. That's always at 10 o'clock on Tuesdays. So there will be stories and a craft of, about silly creatures under the sea. So, you know, octopus and crabs are pretty silly looking. So I imagine <laughs> those, yep. those will be talked about. Okay. <laughs> Do you have um, a guest story time reader for Tuesday? We do. I believe it's Nancy Dunn. Ah, okay. Nancy Dunn. And then um, the teen activity on Tuesday, they're going to be doing a water filtration activity. Ah. And then Wednesday is our STEAM lab, as always, from 10 to 2, and that's a drop-in. Um, program as well and they will be making lighthouses to see who can build the tallest lighthouse without it falling down well you know that that's not in the rules but that's okay <laughs> <laughs> okay build a tall lighthouse yep and then um, the teen activity on Wednesday from 3 to 5 they'll be ma making dolphins out of clay and then Thursday is um, our children's entertainer. Her name is Judy Pancoast. I know she is a children's, she sings children's songs. And I know she is Grammy, Grammy nominated. Mm. So we're excited to have her. I don't think we've um, had her in the past. So this will be a brand new entertainer that we've never had before. Grammy nominated, no less. Yes. So I'm kind of excited about that. Okay. Um, and then Thursdays is always our teen game evening from 3 to 5. And that could include video games and board games. I've, I've 
uh, noticed they've had some board games out, which is kind of cool. Really? That's kind of yes. old school. Yes. So we like to see that. And then our adult craft next week, Thursday at noon, they will be using some sea glass and um, some letters. So they'll be cutting out like the letter V for Valerie. <laughs> and they will be making, gluing some sea craft glass to it. So making some pretty letters. Okay. Just a little decorative piece. And then again, Friday will be Lego Lab again, and the teens will be doing some glass etching on Friday next week. I think we have some some kind of glass mugs or something, so they'll be etching those. Okay. And then we have our magic card game again. So when they etch the glass, I guess is that. But I guess it's by hand, right? There's not a. I don't know if she has templates or. I would I would think maybe she has some kind of templates or something that will be C related. Sure, sure. And uh, well, that'll be neat. So the uh, C craft is the C craft glass on Thursday, yes, and then they'll and that's do for adults. For adults, and then they'll do the etching. The teens will do the etching, the glass etching on Friday. So okay. Yes. So as you can see, there is plenty to do in Artesia, and it's all free at the library. Well, that's just a really uh, busy deal. I know you sent me the July schedule. Is July just as busy as June? You July is just as busy as June. Wow. Um, wow. So. We only have, well, we have one children's performer in July, and then we have Science Spectrum coming over i believe they are in lubbock uh, you know mm -hmm. i'm just learning all this right so they will be bringing uh, some kind of an experiment or demonstration over that will be ocean related so and then we do we actually do have another children's performer on the 27th of july okay so yeah we're, we're just as busy and then we have our end of the summer pool party of course so I would say we're just as busy. <laughs> just as busy in July as June. Well, that's great. I'm glad uh, lots of kids are coming out to see the entertainers and check out more books. Hopefully bring back the books they checked out previously because that's part yes, of it. Yeah. Yes. So we're, we're really happy with the community participation. Of course, there's always room for more. So if you haven't made it down to the library yet, uh, you're missing out. You really are. <laughs> yeah. No, no. Sounds like... Uh, Sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, the library hours, if folks uh, just want to come to the library. <laughs> yes, so Mondays and Saturdays, we are open 10 to 2. And Tuesday through Thursday, we are, or Tuesday through Friday, we are 9.30 to 6. 9.30 to 6, Tuesday through Friday, 10 to 2, Monday and Saturday. And uh, a lot of this information is on uh, is it on either the website or the social media um it's it's on the city website under the library department mm -hmm. um all of our events are there um we're on facebook everything is posted there and we are even on instagram if you have instagram excellent excellent was well, there anything else we need to cover today valerie or did we uh, no i think we've covered a lot <laughs> yeah we sure have a lot of activities over the next week so well thanks thanks so much for your time and uh, continue to have a great summer reading program thanks gene all right thanks a lot valerie from the artesia public library hey